A cashier saved me $10 with her anti-work attitude so I filled out the customer service survey. I went to my local Home Depot store to purchase some maple hobby board. There were massive, slow-moving lines and I was in a pretty foul mood by the time I got to the register. The board is sold by the foot so I knew someone had to measure it. The cashier looked at my obviously two-foot-long board, said, Yay! That looks like it's about a foot, and entered as much into the register and saved me about $10. She made my morning so I took the time to fill out that receipt survey and mentioned what good service she did without saying what she actually did. I hope it improves her standing somehow. I don't imagine very many people try to fill those surveys out. What a nice thing of you to do. I hope you have a great day. That was very nice of you. When I sold flooring for HD, I had gotten surveys back. The funniest one was someone complaining I went into too much detail about the installation process. At least they couldn't complain I wasn't thorough. And couldn't say I didn't tell them. Yay! Something similar happened to us recently. My spouse bought a PR of jeans at Kohl's. They weren't even on sale. So I knew it was gonna be painful. But, when you rip your last pair of jeans, you need at least one pair. Right? They rung up as $3, XX. I took a send look. Spouse did a quick look at me like, WTF? The woman at the register was like, I did a double take. Two, must be on clearance. Don't question it. Never in my life of Kohl's clearance shopping and coupon stacking have I ever got jeans that cheap. We took that don't question it advice. As much dollar 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 Kohl's has seen from my large fam. I surely do not feel guilty about it. Once at a shoe store I was very polite to a cashier who just had a customer be very rude to him. He looked at me and said, thanks for your service, and gave me a veteran's discount. I'm not a veteran, but hey, I took the $20 in savings. Usually the only people who take the time to fill out surveys are the ones complaining about something. As a retail worker, I just want to say thank you on her behalf. I once filled out a survey for my regular delivery man giving him a glowing review. Then it asked me if there was anything that I could suggest that would have made my experience more satisfactory. I said that I was very unsatisfied with the idea that the delivery man and all his colleagues back at the depot may not be receiving fair pay and benefits. Could they do something about this immediately? Please. I went to Aldis and the cashier couldn't get the UPC to scan on sliced ham and she just chucked it in the cart. Made my day. I love filling those out. Or leaving messages about phone centers. Such an easy way to help someone else. Thank you for doing that. I worked as a cashier for a thankless company. I had a lady on the regular would buy a million cans of cat food. I'd usually do my best to count them out from a good estimate. But I'm sure I missed some each time. She always had a lengthy receipt. One time she was sure I didn't charge her enough. We both couldn't figure out what could be missing. She turned to leave and I saw I had missed two bins of cat litter on a lower level. I decided not to say anything and wished her the best. That's good looking out. Whenever I do this sort of thing I'm always slightly terrified someone might mention it in a survey. And unintentionally get me in trouble cold sweat smile. I work for a large grocery store chain. If something doesn't ring up. Not in system. Even if I know the price. I'll either make one up or just give it to the customer. If they did a decent or better job. Give them all the highest score. If they didn't do the best job, pretend you never met them and ignore the survey. Some places, as some mentioned, will punish for less than perfect scores. Some will reward for good scores. 
I've worked in a few places where they give bonuses if you got fives or mentioned by name positively. It's a small thing you can do to help someone out and it only costs a little of your time. Support your fellow workers. Especially in the awful holiday season. Damn $20 for two feet of maple, that is taxing. I always rate a 10. Many people's jobs depend on these ratings, I am not about to get someone fired. I do stuff like this at work all the time and for some reason most customers like me. My job also relies on these ridiculous surveys. I ask every customer I come into contact with to fill them out sometimes 810 a day. I get 12 turned in a month. When we visited our friend in Scotland, we went to the grocery store that her husband worked at and left him a glowing review. He got a goodie bag of free stuff including alcohol which we all shared. Those surveys are only used to berate good employees for not getting 5 stars. So if the service was great, fine, 5 stars. If the service is just fine or okay, nobody needs to know. I always give frontline workers great reviews, and managers mediocre reviews. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.